Hi, welcome to today's episode of Cook and Chat with the Bellas. I am your host, Funke Bella, aka Mrs. Fabulous, aka Fabulous Funky, the one and only wife of MC Tunde Bella. Welcome to my kitchen. If this is your first time here, welcome! <laughs> I need a returning subscriber, a returning friend, a returning sister, brother. Thank you. Say thank you to yourself. Look at your neighbor and say thank you to them. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming back. So ladies and gentlemen, on today's episode of Cook and Chat with the Bellas, I have a very, very special guest. I know I say this all the time. All my guests are special, but this guest today is super extra special a sister a friend as in fact ladies and gentlemen are you ready to meet my special guest for today ladies and gentlemen boys and girls Join me as I welcome into the kitchen today my special guest, our special guest, Adedayo Bella. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Thank you very welcome much. Welcome to the kitchen. Welcome to the show. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome with me, Adedayo Bella. Okay. The princess of the Bella clan. Thank you. <laughs> If you didn't know, now you know this is there. But could you please <laughs> could you please introduce yourself to our beautiful audience? Hello everyone. It's good to be here. Yes, yeah, nice to have My you. My name is Adedayo Bella. Um D. <laughs> I'm the last born of the Bella. <laughs> For now. <laughs> Yeah, the lama's not here, that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I'm an event planner. I'm a lash technician. Um, so today, I'm going to be the chef for today, actually. Yes, yes, so yes, yes, yes. We're going to be doing the Igmea Lata. Ooh. Uh -huh. And <laughs> look, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and Fried gentlemen, yam. you don't want to know about it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, we're having a Netflix and chill kind of evening. And yeah. we thought we'll just show you what we're about to sit and eat and enjoy our life. Because this life, we can't kill ourselves. You can't kill yourself. Please. You need to yeah. enjoy it. <laughs> you need to enjoy your life. So Daya today, she's going to make this... Uh, Igmi Alata Igmi for us with yeah. fried yam and we will both sit and enjoy it's just the two of us and we would enjoy this so yes. feel free to for those that don't understand you but Igmi Alata oh, yeah. is fried snail yeah fried sauce mm -hmm. like Nice, nice, nicely sauce. fried snail <laughs> sauce. Specially <laughs> fried. Just watch and learn and enjoy us yeah. as we make this Igmi Alata and we'll have it with fried yam. So we'll go through all the steps to how you can make your own, where you can buy your own, how you can prepare it and all that stuff. So stay with us, ladies and gentlemen. Stay with Sit us back, as this relax. fabulous woman joins this Mrs. Extra Fabulous. Eh? Two fabulous combined. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to treat you today. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Okay, so Dio, what, what are the ingredients we need to make our dish for today, please? Okay, to make the Igbe Alata, we need our onion, mm -hmm. then we need our tomatoes, mm -hmm. we need our pepper, mm -hmm. we need our spring onion, spring onion. we need our rudo. Rudo. As we Sunday need... likes to call it rudo. <laughs> Sunday does not call it habanero or scotch bonnet, he just says oh, no, rudo, he can't call it kill himself. <laughs> We need our oh, Maggi, mm -hmm. the salt, salt yep. and then we need thyme, curry, mm -hmm. and we need the Cameroon pepper. Yep. But the Cameroon pepper 
it's optional actually some people for extra pepper if mm. you want extra pepper you can use the cameroon pepper if you don't want extra pepper you can leave it out but, but cameroon pepper gives it yeah, a really it nice flavor aroma, yes. and if you watch ccme's video she puts cameroon pepper in almost everything yes. and we know what ccme does is gospel so yes. we've got cameroon pepper here today and this cameroon pepper is from simi's tree yeah. So I'll put a link in the description box how you can contact her to get your own. Please don't ask me where she got it for me. So I'm going to be enjoying my Simmons Tree Cameroon Pepe in all my dishes from now on. It gives it a really, really nice flavor. So you should try Cameroon Pepe sometime. You should. Right. So, yes, and so also we have our yam, yes. which we removed, removed from the set yeah. for certain reasons. And this is our snail. This is our this snail. This is the main dish today. <laughs> Yes, so, right. so okay. we're going to be frying the snail first. Mm -hmm. I would use my onion to fry the snail, okay. but not everybody likes to fry snail with um, use onion to fry their snail. A lot of people like to fry their snail, just they just fry just the snail, but oil. because we want to have that extra. extra aroma extra we just want to be extra, we're extra like that <laughs> you might as well this like yeah <laughs> so we're going to be putting onion Onions, to our yeah. snail okay so we'll fry the snail first mm -hmm. yes. lovely okay so the the first thing we do for this is to cut the onion cut, cut the onions yeah. and cut the I'm going to divide the snail into two because okay. it's way big. It's very big. So <laughs> I'm going to cut the onions. And you just want me to slice it, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. like so. Ladies and gentlemen, can you notice that I have a new knife? Look. <laughs> <laughs> the, when you start feeling happy for buying a new knife, you know there's something wrong. <laughs> You're getting old, probably. So do you want me to cut it like this, Abby? Yeah, anyway. Okay, good. Just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, Daya, can you please tell our beautiful audience at home a little bit about your business? I know a lot okay. about her business, but I'd love you to know. Okay. So, hmm, my business. <laughs> <laughs> Which one are you gonna start first? Let me take them through my event planning yeah. business. Mm -hmm. It's really fun. Mm. As a businesswoman. Before you go into business, our advice that you go into something that you love doing. Yeah, that's very true. Before you start up a business, you ha you have to have a passion for what you want to do. Mm. If you love making hair, going to the salon, you can start up a salon business. You know, if you love um, styling people, telling them wear this, wear that, wear this, you could. Be a fashion designer mm. open up a, a fashion school or something but because of the love i have for parties <laughs> <laughs> while i was growing of up of course you might as well you they as they say your business ends up being the yeah the thing that you so enjoy because of my love for parties even while i was growing up if my parents are going for any party i would cry just to <laughs> yes. if my siblings are going for any party i have to <laughs> sometimes they'll just tell me you're going so i'm gonna wear your shoe before i come out <laughs> they're gone <laughs> <laughs> typical nigerian parents so i've actually done the nine to five job in nigeria but you know when I saw that, oh, I needed to do business and no regrets actually, because doing, um, doing events is fun, it's a lot. You have to put in a lot, but mm. no regrets is actually fun. Because I went to um, the event planning school, web business school in Lagos. That's why I did my training. And after the training, I started getting jobs, you know, planning events, meeting up with clients going for meetings with clients, having my vendors meeting, because you have to do a vendors meeting before your um, mm -hmm. the day of the event, mm -hmm. before your big day. You need to get your vendors together, my um, food vendor, drink vendors, decorators. I need to put everybody together. Mm -hmm. I don't want any anybody mm -hmm. to spoil my work this so i need true. to bring everybody together have yeah. a meeting give them their space oh you set up here you set up there yeah, it's really but, important isn't yeah it? but and, there's a lot in that goes into planning an event yeah that's a lot there's that's a lot. why when some people just say oh 
I can plan my event myself. No, you need us. You yeah. need me. <laughs> you need an event planner. I'll put a link to her <laughs> yeah. page on Instagram. Yeah, you need in an the event planner. The, can you please tell them the name of your Tribels event yep. on Instagram? Mm-hmm. Tribels. C R I B E W L S. Yep. Tribels event. And a trial would definitely yeah. com- convince you, not confuse you. You definitely you need should. an events planner because you want to enjoy your own. Yeah, event. you want to have. You don't you want, want to be running around after. You want to have peace of mind. And running around <laughs> after. Yes. You know, this is why people like this are here <gasps> to make we your run life around so for you. much easier. We do easier. everything for you, mm-hmm. and then and my clients are always satisfied. I I work. I want satisfaction. Mm-hmm. Like I don't want to do a job and then my client is saying oh these people didn't get food these people didn't yeah, get food right. so i like to work with even if i have like 100 guests and if my work is oh i'm not having 1 million guests and then 200 people are getting to eat no so i like to work with people's budget actually mm-hmm. some mm-hmm. clients will just call you and say oh i want to have a glamorous wedding i want to wear a dangling dress <laughs> what to have, <laughs> what you have to, what's your budget you <laughs> just say 500,000 for what <laughs> Ma, did you just Repeat. are you sure you want to wear this dress you're sharing in this picture and they say yes i want my dress to be like this i want my you need to just cut your quotes according, according to your size to, yeah. just let us work but this is why you, you need the planner because yes, yes, yes. some people so don't understand say, yes, some people this. don't understand this so yeah. when i come in i explain to them that look you need to go for this kind of dress you need to get this event or you need to, you need to get this kind of all you cannot if if for instance if your budget is 10 million naira i don't know how much that is in pounds and then you want to you want an event you're all of you're going to get a haul of three million naira it's not going to work because mm-hmm. we still have to, we would <laughs> yeah. we would be in depth so no you definitely need an event planner we're and if to, your event yeah, is we're going in to, nigeria yes you know who to call you heard it here call first. Me. <laughs> call me. right let's move on to frying this peppered snail okay so we're done cutting the onion and the snail, snail. we're gonna start frying now so yeah, we've got so, some of the oil in the frying pan. Oh, it looks hot now. Let's start. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to toss in some of my onion. Mm-hmm. I won't be putting everything. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and then mm-hmm. I'm going to allow it fry because that's fine. I'm going to make, put some of my snail inside. Mm-hmm. The idea is to make the snow crunchy because mm. we don't want to have burning snow in our mouth. <laughs> so you can choose not to to fry your snail. You can a lot of people don't like to fry. I don't like to fry actually. Yeah. So, but but it just gives it this extra yeah, crispy so. skin, which is nice. But you can skip this step if you really don't want to fry your snail. Or you can just fry it lightly, just to lightly. Feel. We are frying just lightly. We're not. Yeah, frying we're it. not frying it to be too crispy. Yeah. Mm. So, as I was saying, <laughs> <laughs> as our snail is frying, let's carry on with this conversation. <laughs> I'm really feeling this business woman point of view, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. So, we need to open our eyes to learn from the world yeah the world is now our oyster since everything that's happened over the past couple of months we just need to open our eyes to possibilities in life and events is one of them and dio also runs another business that she's going to tell us about just now yes okay so while i'm still talking about my um event business Mm. you need to learn how to deal with clients Mm. i've met different kind of clients the rude ones the nice ones, mm. the very calm ones, and the ones that want to be extra but don't have the money. <laughs> <laughs> and they blame you for everything. <laughs> and then you look at them and say, I'm just working with your budget. <laughs> what do you tell me to do? <laughs> I cannot kill myself. <laughs> so, kill ourselves. Oh. And it's, it's really good when the client and the event planner have a, a good understanding. Yeah. It makes it makes my work easier. Yeah. When I'm when I meet a client for the first time, I can tell the kind of um clients this person is going to be. Once I have my meeting with you, I make you understand that 
when we work together, it makes everything easy. Yeah. It makes your events come out very nice. Mm. It makes my work come out nice. Mm. It makes you happy. It makes your your guests happy. It makes everything nice. Yeah. So, and again, money is very important. <laughs> <laughs> money is the cocoa. And as an event planner, you need to learn how to collect all your money from your clients. Make sure they pay you in full. Yeah. Because most clients, once you you make the um you work for them and you say oh they can pay you you can make you can ma you can pay me once um you're done with your event event. it doesn't work like that you find out and in business generally yeah then you find out that you start chasing your clients that oh ma you've not paid oh can you no no you pay you make complete payment yeah because, because you're going to yeah, deliver your service. Yeah, we're going to deliver your service for you. Thank you so yeah, much, Dara, for this advice, business advice free of charge. Because <laughs> the bell is your host. <laughs> so okay. we'll carry on with our snail. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we're done frying the snail right here. Yeah. And the next thing we're going to do is to blend the we're pepper. going to blend the pepper. We showed you earlier the pepper we're blending. So you can use just red bell pepper or scotch bonnet pepper use whatever you like to use to do your fried stew but today we're using tomatoes a little bit of tomato and um, red bell peppers scotch bonnet and onion, onion yeah. and we're going to blend it to shasha yes <laughs> <laughs> shisha yeah <laughs> so, so that, that just it simply means, means it's not going to be smooth it's yeah, just so. going to be partially blended right so i'm going to take you through the process of how to blend it <laughs> go on so this is fine mm -hmm. this is how we need we yeah. don't need it to be smooth so i'm going to fry the sauce now mm -hmm. the atta, atta. Atta. so atta. we are going to fry the atta First, we're going to put in the onions. Onions. Um, and then I'm going to allow my onion to fry a little bit. So when the onion is um, slightly fried, I'm going to toss in my pepper. Mm -hmm. This is for those that don't like to fry too much. You don't want everything splashing all over your face. <laughs> <laughs> You're choking in the kitchen. <laughs> so this is how we do it. Mm. Okay. So I'm going to allow this fry. Mm -hmm till when the color is changed okay then i'll know that's all i'm ready to put in my ingredients mm. so okay so while that's frying yeah let's talk about wink so ladies and gentlemen ladies and gentlemen <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen there's a reason why i'm staring at you like that have you seen my lashes yeah you've seen it <laughs> even i'm feeling myself as well <laughs> these lashes these particular ones are from her new range yeah. and this particular pair is called fabulous mini fabulous yeah i'm telling you <laughs> can you even tell that i'm wearing lashes it looks so natural if you want la natural looking lashes like this wink by bella fabulous fabulous short because she has another one fabulous which is <laughs> dramatic and she has what's this one you're wearing called oh this one i'm wearing is the mini sunset mini sunset yeah right so tell us a little bit about wink by bella okay wink by bella started during the lockdown in nigeria because 
um, events, we're not coming, like, no parties. Yeah. Everybody, everybody was isolating, everybody is doing something and the other. So, I started to think that, oh, what can I do with my time? I cannot do events for now, but I can't just stay idle. Mm -hmm. So, I started to go online. I went on Google. I checked for things that I would. So I've always liked lashes. Mm. I love. I love to wear lashes. I love to see lashes on people. I like the look because the lashes it brings out your look. Mm -hmm. It brings out your eyes. Like, it makes you look nice. Why you wear a makeup and you don't wear lashes? It feels like it's your not makeup complete. Is not, yeah, it's not... makeup is naked. <laughs> it's not popping. <laughs> so you need a a, a a good lashes mm. to complement your makeup. Mm -hmm. So. I don't just have a lash line. I also know how to do like the natural lashes, mm. the semi-permanent lashes, mm. the classic, the hybrid, the volume. So I, oh, wow. I went for a training yeah, mm -hmm. in Lagos. So I did a training and now I could do lashes, like I could lash for you. I could do classic, I could do volume, mega volume, hybrid, mm. whichever style you want. All right, so. lovely. So ladies and gentlemen, Understand. if you need your lashes done. And then for those that don't like the semi-permanent lashes, you that's why I did the strip. Yes. Yeah, so I have the, the strip ones. Well. So I've got the so. I've got the strip ones on because I'm an on and off lash wearer, <laughs> as some of you already know. So if you want the strip, she does that. If yes. you want the semi-permanent one, she does that. And the name of this one is called Wink, Wink by, by Bella. Bella. I'll put a link in the description box of how to reach her, how to buy from her and how she she can offer you one of her services so yes. i from your talk you said this started during the lockdown the first yeah. lockdown and it's just amazing how many businesses started during the lockdown you just have to get the inner yeah you have to discover your talent deep. And <laughs> because peop, as yeah, much as to, people are crumbling people are rising yeah. so imagine you know new businesses popping up here mm -hmm. and there so whatever it is that has been knocking on the door of your heart that do me do me do me it doesn't matter whether there's lockdown or no lockdown whether it's christmas easter or any time of the year just go for it just do it okay so ladies and gentlemen our uh, prepare has been frying in the oil for about 10 to 15 minutes, isn't it, Daya? Yes. And it's really reduced now, and we're gonna move on to the next step. You really want to fry your sauce till it's really, really, really reduced. Yeah, so okay. now I'm going to add my curry. Mm -hmm. Very little curry, not too much. I'm going to put my thyme. Mm -hmm. And I'll stir them together. This gives it a nice aroma, extra flavor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we are going to Add the cameroon pepper. Okay. And this cameroon pepper, as we said earlier, is from Simistry. Yes. Cameroon pepper from So Simistry. there's a link in the description box. There will be how you can find this cameroon pepper. And we're not adding so much of it. From Simistry. Okay. That's about half teaspoon. Okay. And then you can put a little bit more if you if yeah, you want. Yeah, if you want. If but you want, if you are the pepper them gang. As, you, as I like to say, pepper, pepper them your gang. own. <laughs> if you are pepper them gang, you can put. <laughs> you can put one tablespoon of cameron pepper, but you are your own. <laughs> <laughs> Just be but sure. But some you people have like more water. Some people yours. like it hot. So yeah. if you like it hot, then go for it. We like it mild. <laughs> oh, she likes like it hot, it but I like it much so we're in between. <laughs> I try to be careful so yeah. we don't do too much. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be putting my my cubes. cubes, and this is no. And please, when you when you put Maggie in your food, you know some African women, they will just. Bring water and wash the hand inside. Don't ever try that. 
<laughs> I do that sometimes actually. <laughs> I no. Especially when yes, the engine to once I, <laughs> she said once you you squeeze Our mothers your, do that actually. Your seasoning cube no into girl. your sauce. Don't come and take water and bless you and wash yeah. your hand inside the bless you and wash your hand inside the stew. That's not acceptable. <laughs> not anymore. We're in 2020 now 2020, where levels are that, yeah, please. levels have moved. We're no longer doing that, eh? Thank so you very I'm much. Gonna some, some salt. salt. Mm, yeah, the one that's sick games. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're gonna put the snail mm -hmm. in this. We gotta toss the snail in. Um, Are you gonna put all of it? No. Okay. I'm gonna be dividing the snail. I don't know. We don't need too much snail in this. But the concept is ignalata. So now. I'll stir my snail together with it and allow it to cook for about 10 minutes. Okay. That's why it is Igbe Alata. Because you need it to cook properly yeah. in the sauce. So I'm going to be putting the spring onion last because I want to have extra flavor in this. Mm. I need more extra flavor. So that's what this is actually for. Okay. So mm. <laughs> the aroma is already coming mm. out, and I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> can see everything is all dried up now and we're just gonna allow this to cook. settle and cook for about seven minutes mm -hmm. now and the sauce will be done yeah great okay so ladies and gentlemen take a look at this igmia lata hey. mm. i cannot wait you know i'm such a foodie and i can't <laughs> wait to consume this so now the igmia lata is ready. ready. Yeah. We're gonna do the fried yam to complement our igmia lata. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, our fried snail is done. We're going to move over to our yam. And I've peeled the yams. I'm just going to slice them into yeah. like chip chip shape. So we'll go like that and then like that. Yeah, that's fine. So you can cut your yam to whichever size you like because we are having finger food. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no O and B, no party, but we're having our own little party in here. <laughs> so we're going to deep fry this in some sunflower oil. To make it crunchy, mm -hmm. yeah. crispy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to start frying the yam now okay and Daya likes to add salt to her yam yes yeah, so if you've seen any of my yam videos i like to add salt and sugar but today we're going for salt only so we're going to sprinkle the salt mm -hmm. on this we don't need too much salt yeah we're all cutting, mm -hmm. cutting down the salt i'm doing this to make the salt to mix, mix up it. the yam mm -hmm. and that's fine and then we're going to start frying. If you hit this food, even if you have corona symptoms, <laughs> <laughs> it will vanish. It will vanish by fire. <laughs> it will vanish. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You just you need to try this. Yes, so by yourself and I can't wait to try it. Yeah. So this is fine. Our first batch. Okay. Good. So we'll fry it till it's gold golden. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 
so ladies and gentlemen we're now done our peppered snail Igmi Alata is yeah. ready with our, our fried, fried yam. yam and we're go going to sit now and enjoy and find a nice movie to watch and relax our life and enjoy our life. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Daya. Thank you for showing us yeah, all thank how you for to watching. make this peppered snail so you can chill out in your house and just enjoy whatever you like to cook by yourself. So thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do. And please follow Daya on her social media handles. I'll put a link in the description below of how you can find her to get your beautiful lashes. And if you've got an event that you like her to run for you, she's your girl. So thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. So we'll enjoy our food. Oh, oh let's go and watch our movie. As okay. enjoy. Yeah. Mm. 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 Crunchy. Mm. Mmm. See you ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. Mm. Bye. I have to try it.